don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to Sahara Football, another nice fine morning to talk about football. Yesterday the Black Princesses crashed out of the Under-20 Women's World Cup and Asante Kotoko played a friendly in Tanzania against Simba FC. I'm taking you that, through that and other stories for today. As usual, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And I'm Silas Fiori. Let's get right into it. So we start off with the Black Princesses. Yesterday, the Black Princesses played a game against um, the Netherlands, their second game of the Under-20 Women's World Cup. Unfortunately, they were unable to progress to the next round. They failed to progress in the next round. They considered three goals in the first half and they, 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 were, they, were, they were not great at all. Three goals in the first half and because the second half they considered an extra goal. That was one more goal and it ended 4-0 on the, on the day. 4-0. They lost 4-0 and that, mean, that result meant that they crashed out of the under-20 women's World Cup at the group stages. Netherlands, this is the first time they are playing the under 20 women's World Cup and they've done pretty well for themselves. They won their first game and now they've won their second game against Ghana. And it was so sad to see the Ghanaian ladies crash out in such a manner. We hope they learn something from this and they can move on further in this manner. This is our fifth consecutive under 20 women's World Cup and we have failed to make it through to the knockout stages. It is quite, quite sad to think about it. So that's for the under 20 women's World Cup. The Ghanaians will be playing their last game against New Zealand before they come home to Ghana after crashing out of the tournament. It's quite sad, but yeah, that's it. They crashed out of the tournament, failed to make it to the next round. Now we move on to Asante Kotoko. Asante Kotoko played a friendly. We all know Ghana football is in shambles right now. There's nothing really going on. And the boys, the Asante Kotoko boys, took to Tanzania. They received an invitation to play a game in Tanzania and they took to Tanzania to play Simba FC. Goalkeeper Felix Anan made a penalty save, but Kotoko, they couldn't secure the win. They scored first in the 44th minute before Simba FC equalized later on in the game. Oben as well, they also scored their goal for Asante Kotoko in the 44th minute. And Simba FC equalized in the 73rd minute. We'll have a look at the Kotoko goal right now. It will be on your screen very soon. Yeah, that's the Kotoko goal. They played Simba FC. This is the Uber Ousu. Sorry. This is his goal. Yes, that was the opening goal for Asante Kotoko. It was a quite quite a good experience for the players. After being out for so long, no football currently going on in Ghana and the Ghana football in a state of, let's say, confusion right now. This was a nice warm-up game for them. So Kotoko drew 1-1 with Simba FC. And that was it for Asante Kotoko. Now, we'll move on to my next story. Hearts of Folk. Speaking of Kotoko, Hearts of Folk and Asante Kotoko will play a friendly match in honor of the former president, um, President Kufo. Now, the public relations officer of the Ministry of Youth and Sports has revealed that the ministry has received a letter for a friendly game between Hearts and Kotoko to honor former president John Ejiko Mkufo. The country's two most glorious clubs are keen to serve their previous teaming fans an epic super clash encounter, which has eluded them for the past month in the week of the Anas Arumia Anas Expose that put a dent in football activities in Ghana. Now, they said, to the best of my knowledge, the Ministry of Youth and Sports has received no letter on a proposed friendly to the play at the Babayara Stadium. But the only we have received is that of a match to honor John Ajiko Nkofo on his 80th birthday. This said, the match is slated for September in this year. So, September, Kotoko and Atofu will probably play a friendly. Um, in honor of the former president, John Ejikun before. He said, that's all we know, but nothing on a friendly this August. We will look at it should we receive such communique. Two clubs have been pending, two-legged half, a 
Penny two legged friendly game coming up August 19th and 2nd September at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. So that's it. Asante Kotoko and Agra has opened. I think that this will be a great game for the fans. We miss football and we hope it comes off eventually. Asante Kotoko versus Accra Hats of is always a big clash. It's always something to look forward to. And this will be no other, no, no different than how it has been. So, in the wake of the Anas Aramia or Anas Expose, we know 74 referees were implicated in the um, decisions that were taken and they were caught on video taking bribes in one form or another. But Ghana's top referee, Daniel Lai, he has passed the integrity check. As, as I always like to think, if someone does something good, the person needs to be praised. As much as we, we try to we try to look at the negative side of people more as human beings, we should try to look at the positive side. I think Daniel Lai is a commendable referee. And um, it says here he has passed the integrity check and remains the country's, the country's torch bearer after the Anas expose. The credibility of Ghana's star referee Daniel Lai has soared, has soared beyond imaginable heights after the rising official survived an integrity check following an explosive investigative piece. The country's torchbearer and long ranger in the pursuit of noble profession survived several attempts to compromise his pedigree and today stands tall among his peers in the West African nation. The continent's governing body CAF has wielded the disciplinary acts, handling lifetime ban and suspension to seven FIFA officials after they were caught on tape. In the mass investigative piece. Now, Lae has replaced his grace Joseph Lamte as Ghana's top referee after he was handed a lifetime ban for manipulating a 2018 World Cup qualifier game. The young Ghanaian referee seems to be on the right path after exhibiting tremendous professionalism in the discharge of his duties over the past few years. He has officiated several matches on the continent, it's usually a tip to become. An elite calf A referee. So, Lai officiated the 2017 Apple Cup and Wafu Cup of Nations hosted by Ghana and the 2018 Chan tournament. So, that's referee Lai. I, I, I can see in all this negativity, it's, it's hard to, to see anything positive, but I'm, I'm really happy that this referee has turned out to be a shining light in the darkness we are facing right now in terms of Ghana football and the integrity of the referees involved in the game. Kudos to referee Lai for maintaining his integrity. And we wish him all the best and we hope Ghana football will rise again and Ghana football will win eventually. So that has been it for today. I'm being your host, Salas Fiawe. Don't forget to bet with one expert. One expert offers you the best deals you can ever afford. You can never imagine the best deals you can ever imagine. I'll leave a link in the description as usual. Click on one is best register and use the promo code to register with it and start a chance of winning amazing prizes this coming season. I've been your host, Alasifiawe. Tomorrow we'll meet again. See you guys in the next one.